Hi everybody, welcome back to Sable 101. I'm so glad you joined me today. So I really wanted to come on here and share with you guys what God has shown me in a dream. And I'm just like beyond excited about it because I wasn't really sure what it like meant until, you know, I woke up and kind of like studied it out and I was like, oh my gosh, this is so awesome. So um, pretty much in my dream, I was um, at this like conference thing and um, I had gotten up and I like started teaching and, and I was teaching um, these young girls or um, I don't know if they were young or they're my age or I don't know but it seemed like they were all girls and I was teaching them and um, I noticed while I was there that there's a lot of brokenness you know, a lot of broken hearts, a lot of um, hurting, you know, a lot of them were, you know, would be the type of people, I mean, which we all, all are, but they were, um, you know, crying out. They were searching for someone to hear their cry. And um, so when I was teaching them, I was like, you know, I, I could see this. I, I could see the brokenness in this place. I, I know you guys are crying out. But there is one that you could find hope in. And so, I don't remember everything that I was telling them, but I just remember it, it was a lot about being broken. So, like, I went back into this office area, and I was trying to research verses about um, how we find our hope in Jesus, because, like, I couldn't remember off the top of my head, so I was like, okay, where is this verse at? And um, I, like, researched it, like, Googled it on my phone in my dream, and my dream led me to John chapter five, and I was like, and then I woke up. I don't, I don't remember anything that happened after that. So um, when I woke up, I, I went to John chapter five because you know, like you have multiple dreams in the night. But like I was like trying to remind myself through like, all the dreams, like remember John chapter five. So I, uh, when I woke up, I turned to it and I was like, okay, God, what are you trying to tell me? And so I, the first thing I read was um, five, uh, verses five through nine. And when I read it, I was like, this, I, I feel it in my spirit. This, this is what God is trying to tell me. I don't know what he's trying to tell me through this because it's not like clear, clear, but I know this is the scriptures that he wants to tell me because the rest wasn't really wasn't really about brokenness being made whole so it, it definitely was it so for the purpose of this video I will read verses 2 through 9 so you get the whole story for those who don't know this story <laughs> but it says um, in verse 2 now there is at Jerusalem by the sheep market a pool which is called in the Hebrew tongue Beth Beth Esta, having five porches I'm pretty sure I did not pronounce that right but um, Beth Esta. and in these lay a great multitude of impotent folk or um, disabled, um, of blind, halt, withered, waiting for the moving of the water. For an angel went down at a certain season into the pool and troubled the water, and whosoever then first, after the troubling of the water, stepped in, was made whole of whatsoever disease he had. And a certain man was there which had an infirmity thirty and eight years, or thirty-eight years. And Jesus saw him lie and knew that he had been now a long time in that case. Or he saw him lying there and knew that he had been there for a while. And he said unto him, Will thou be made whole? And the opponent man answered him, Sir, I have no man when the water is troubled to put me into the pool. But while I am coming, another step it down before me. And Jesus said unto him, Rise, take up thy bed, and walk. And immediately the man was made whole and took up his bed and walked. So I read this story now. I felt in my spirit, okay, this is the story God is trying to tell me. Now I have to like pray about it, search it out. And um, so I decided to 
Google it on my regular phone on Google in like real life. And um, when I looked it up, I pressed this article, whatever thing, that um, or link that said um, it had like 20 verses on finding your hope in Jesus. So I was just like scrolling through, and when I got to like kind of the middle, it it had John chapter 5 verse 6 which was when Jesus saw him lie and knew that he had been now a long time in that case he said unto him will thou be made whole so this whole video is going to be like that is the foundation this John 5 6 is the foundation of this video and the question that you need to ask yourself is, will you be made whole? Because Jesus is calling out to us, asking us, will you be made whole? So this is to all of those out there that are broken in heart, that are yearning for somebody to hear their voice, that is just crying out like, God, if you're real, then show me that you're real. Like. It, I'm just broken, I'm depressed, I'm hurting, you know, do you even hear me? And he does. And he's asking you, will you be made whole? Because I've seen your cry, I've heard your voice, and I've come to heal you. Most people, when they saw Jesus, they ran to him. They said, Master, Master, heal me because they knew who he was. But this this lame man who sat by this pole for 38 years, he didn't know who Jesus was. So when Jesus came up to him and said, will thou be made whole? The crippled man answered Jesus in the same way he probably answered everybody like, sir, you know, I I try to get to the pool when, it, when it's troubled by the angel, but you know, I don't have anybody to help me. So while I'm trying to get up and trying to get there, somebody walks in front of me. And so, you know, there, there's two ways of seeing this I've found. Because there's the way of, you know, like, don't let somebody step in front of you and take your blessing. But through my dream and, and through what God has shown me, you know, through His Holy Spirit, um, He's shown me that as broke as people are broken they and that when people are broken and their faith is is weakening sometimes they need that strong believer to come and help pull them up and help them bring them to the arms of Jesus so how i look at this is Jesus is this pool that we are trying to get to. He is the pool that will make us whole. And so when he is saying, you know, I don't have anybody to take me to this pool, not knowing that the very one that's asking him is the one that can make him whole. So he's saying, I have nobody to take me to you. And so that's why we, like strong believers, need to go to those that are broken and those that are crippled in spirit and help them up and bring them to Jesus because they need that crutch. Because they can't see that the one that is calling out to them is Jesus. They can't see that. They're blinded. And that's why we need to go and help them, help them to Jesus. Because they, they don't know the voice of Him calling. They don't know that, it, that it's Him. But Jesus is calling us. And His arms are the crutch. You know, for those who know His voice, when He says, Will thou be made whole from the hurt? Will thou be made whole from, you know, the sickness or whatever you are going through? Will you be, will you be made whole? We say, Jesus, yes. Yes, we will be made whole. We will run into his arms because we know his voice. We know him. And we run to him. And he is the crutch. You know, we don't need 
I mean, it, it's nice to have other believers and nice, and, and it's nice to have Christians around you to encourage you and uplift you and, and to hold you up if you need it. But ultimately, Jesus is the crutch. He is the arms that are picking us up and bringing, him, bringing us to Him. Like, His arms are so strong and so full of love. Like, He just picks us up and wraps His arms around us and, and makes us whole. But for those that don't know, for those that can't hear His voice, you know, us strong believers need to go to them and lift them up and take them to the one that is calling them. But for those that are wondering who the voice is, it's Jesus, and He's calling to you. Will thou be made whole? Will thou be made whole? There is no more excuses that you can make because His arms are the crutch. Even if you have no other believers around you, His arms are the crutch to lift you up and to bring you into his arms and to bring you into that troubled waters or that troubled pool to make you whole he wants to make you whole he wants to heal you so while i was looking up those verses in real life about um you know finding your hope in god i um before i came across john 5 6 and was like totally freaking out um, I came across Psalms 3, and this was perfect because, you know, God wants to remind you. He wants to tell you that He hears you. So in Psalms 3, starting in verse 2, it says, Many there be which say of my soul, there is no help for him in God. But thou, O Lord, art a shield for me, my glory in the lifter of mine head. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy hill. I laid me down and slept, and I wait for the Lord to save me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that have set themselves against me round about. So God is trying to tell you, if you're watching this video, that he hears your cry. That He is your shield. He is your refuge. He is the lifter of your head. He is the crutch that will pick you up from the brokenness in your life and will wrap His arms around you and He will make you whole. He will make you whole. That voice that is calling out to you is Him. He's calling out to you and He's asking you, will you be made whole? Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope that it was able to touch you guys in whatever way you needed, and the Lord was able to speak through me to you. But um, I love you guys, and I hope you have a wonderful, amazing week. Okay, bye!